even if they drop that first game, that's okay because we don't know what the quarterback situation is going to be. Maybe they sit Brock out for a week as he's still recovering. Kyle Shannon this week said that Brock Purdy might be ready for training camp, which is great news, which is way ahead of schedule for a lot of people. But if he's if he is ready, they may want to sit him out for a game and let his arm get in game shape. And if that's the case, they may just punt on that first game and assume that, okay, well, that next Rams game is a much easier draw for them. That's it's it's in LA, which is like a home game for the 49ers, as we know. And they've they've got that eight game uh, regular streak, re- regular season winning streak against them as well. So I think oh, that they true. feel much more confident going up against the Rams than they would up against the Steelers. So I think that it's okay if they drop that Steelers game. I, it's not a big deal. But again, the Giants is the, the wild card here. If, if, look, if, if Brock Purdy is out for the first four weeks, your bar here, your minimum bar is two and two. You want to go 500 yeah. without him. Yes. If he's there, I'd want to go three and one, right? Because that's your starting quarterback. That's the guy you're going to go forward with. Two and two wouldn't be end of the world, but you certainly cannot drop below 500 in the first four games. Yeah. And to Brian's point earlier, though, two and two might not feel like the end of the world, but just like last year or last season, some of these wins, that's supposed to be where you just stack them up. So yeah. I feel like the Niners always do a good job. Fans will freak out. I, I'm, a, I'm a big guy that freaks out early on. But at the same time, it's a long season, but it can happen quickly and things can change quickly. If you're looking at the schedule and when you get to the middle, okay, the Browns legitimately no clue what to do with the Browns, but you got, you know, Cowboys, Vikings, Bengals, Jags, who've been better, Bucks, you would think has taken a step back. I guess my point is just, you can, for whatever you drop, you're just going to have to get one. Right. So if you do drop it to the Steelers, then the Jags, who might be better, you can't afford to lose that game. So you can't, I guess you can trade off in that way as well. 